a lot of things today. Keep on watching to find out. I'll show you what. Pineapple is the cutest pet I've ever owned in my life. Oh my. Sometimes I come to think that she's a squirrel in a bird body. She always likes to go to tight places and <laughs> it's just the cutest thing ever. Hello YouTube Urban Animal Keeping here bringing you a new bird video this time it's going to be about this green cheek conier which is one of the most popular companion parrots in agriculture I know a lot of you guys like this fidget spinner but today we won't be using it because the bird is already free Green cheek conyers are very playful, affectionate, and intelligent, known as having a big personality in a small body. Her name is Pineapple. She's now seven months old, and I got her straight from the breeder when she was only three months. And we've been interacting ever since. That means she's had enough time to trust and bond with us. Let's give her some food. She was a good girl and sit on my shoulder for this video the whole time. So um, I've been searching the net about Green Sheep Conier's behavior as a pet and I mostly came across four things. They are one, they like to be held in hand and they can easily learn tricks such as laying on their backs, kissing and hanging upside down. Sounds too good to be true. Can you do that? In this video, we'll put these four internet statements to test, so keep on watching guys. I'm sure my subscribers already know I don't believe in caging birds, so I will show you all the habitat that we have made for her. And there are many things that have changed since the last time I uploaded, so keep on watching guys and I'll explain about those too. Before we start, I'd like to show you how Kanye learned to fly to me on demand. This footage is from our early days together. By that time, she could already eat some soft food like papaya and banana, but still required to be back up hand fed 10 milliliters twice a day. And luckily, she really liked my recipe, so I took this opportunity to train her to fly to me on demand. How it works is very simple, because conyers love to eat, and if they associate you as a source of food, they should naturally be attracted to you. If you want to try this at home, just make sure that the bird has enough confidence in flying and feels comfortable with you at first place. The younger they are, the easier it is. We continued this few times every day for a month until she was almost unseparatable from me. She had just started eating some flower seeds here. Once your bird starts to identify flying to you as a positive thing, it will develop a habit over time. Therefore, you and your parrot could have great fun with flying. 
Now, let's get to verifying the four internet statements about Grinchy Conyers' behavior as a pet. Do they like to be held in hand? The answer is yes, only if they like you. Grinchy Conyers tend to find warmth and security in their owner's hands. In fact, she occasionally takes naps in my hand. Can they learn to lie on their backs? Well, I never tried to teach her this because I had in my mind that she's not a puppy, she doesn't need to learn these kind of tricks, but she does it by herself anyway, so I guess that's cool. Especially when I'm on the sofa, she'll fly to me, lie back, and start grooming herself. It's important not to ever make her feel trapped and allow her to turn around whenever she feels like. Come here. Come here, say hello. She doesn't care when she's cleaning herself. Unlike some Conyers that are distinctively loud, Grinchy Conyers are super quiet. She only whistles softly when she wants attention and when she hears music. Oh no. Look who's coming down. It's a Bosemary Electus. If you guys want to see her up close, now is the best time to ask, can Grinchy Conyers learn to kiss? Electus are very social and want to be involved in whatever you're doing. They are also very popular due to their exotic color and sweet character. And no, the bird is not trying to eat me, it's actually very gentle. I mean, she cracks open young coconuts on a daily basis. That powerful beak could easily hurt me if she was to bite. What she's doing is a way of parrot interacting with humans. You wanna give me a kiss too? Huh? Cutie? Electus parrots are fascinating, but their complicated diet and their need for attention has caused many of them to get neglected. I strongly believe animals, especially rare parrots like this, don't deserve to be locked in the cage. The main reason I got her is because she previously was not being kept in the best conditions. To me, it feels more like I've rescued her and I think she knows that. I greatly admire Tyler Ruggie, Taylor Nicole Dean and Marlene McCohen, they're great pet owners who have truly inspired me to having my own pets and opening this very YouTube channel. So if you guys are enjoying this video, thank them later. As long as I was living with family, my mom didn't allow pets in the house, but I've always loved animals, so yeah. Such an affectionate parrot, likes to groom me, thinks I'm her mate or something. By the way guys, Rampage will be out in the theaters April 2018. It's weird. You like hang out with animals more than people. Yeah, well, animals get me. I rescued George when he was two years old. George never would have survived on his own. He definitely trusts you.
This is actually a week after the previous footage. Here I am in the same clothes, trying to clarify the answer for question number three. But she just kept on hanging, so I guess that already answers number four. Can green chick conyers learn to hang upside down? Stop hanging, please. I want to show the audience what you can do. <laughs> oh, you funny guy. Come. Okay. And the light is coming down as usual. Trying to get involved. I have so much to share with you guys about her. So do let me know if you want to see more. For now, let's get to clarifying number three. Can Green Chick Conyers kiss? Good yes, job. I think this time is very right. clear that the answer is positive. Let's give Electus the same so she wouldn't feel left out. Let's go to show you where Conyer lives. If you have been watching my previous videos and by this time you're wondering where the lovebirds are, I'd like to note that having experience keeping many birds free in the house was not something ideal unless if I had a mate who could clean after them 24-7. There were some issues regarding their behavior and noise that made me concerned. I have fully explained about this in an update video. You can find it on my channel. I did come to realize that they were captive bred. They were just not hand tamed. What I meant is that they had wild nature. They were not wild caught. In fact, the color variety in lovebirds have been produced by selective breeding in agriculture since 1930s. Those four lovebirds were used to human presence, that's why I had a fairly easy time gaining their trust and establishing friendship with them. But in general, if lovebirds are kept in a group, they are less likely to have an intense relationship with their human. I've always wanted to have an attractive pet that is affectionate, smart and playful, and the green chick is exactly the type I was looking for, so I'm definitely committing to it. She's the best. I only got the green chick in August after the lovebirds were adopted. I posted the peach face pair for adoption on petfinder.com where they were adopted through. Petfinder.com is a great platform if you're looking to have an animal companion. Make sure to check this website before heading to your local pet shop. There are literally thousands of cats and dogs and even some birds that are in urgent need of a new home. I completely agree that it's always better to adopt than to buy if it's available. The rest of the birds I give to a hobby's friend who has spacious aviary set up at his garden where he keeps budgies and finches separated from lovebirds. He is a retiree who has plenty of time and a lot of experience in the bird hobby so I know they are in good hands, will be taken excellent care of and have more secure area to fly around. I appreciate all you viewers for staying positive. I'd like to thank you for the suggestions, advices, comments and compliments you gave on my previous videos. It surely has made me learn a lot in this urban animal keeping journey. I will keep it up for you guys and hopefully post more videos. Do like and share if you enjoy the content. Now I'm going to show you something very interesting. Do you see that thing hanging? Yup, it's a sunbird nest. The pair came and built it in the middle of my balcony. How great is that? I honestly feel like I'm living in a tree house, which I've always dreamed of. But in reality, I live here, <laughs> somewhere in between these towers. And the birds we see in the sky often look like this. Here in the treehouse again, so what are olive-backed songbirds that nested here? In many ways, similar to hummingbirds, songbirds are fast flyers with small wings and hovering ability. They have a long beak for eating nectar and are capable of hunting insects. 
here you can see the pair together. I believe the one with the golden chest is the male. Very beautiful. That's when he was in my balcony. Time for some fun. I made this nectar feeder myself a year ago, which provides a sustainable source of food for them, and in return, I get to see them every day. So now, to show you what was in the nest, let's take you back in time. They had two healthy babies. This is about three weeks after hatching. They had already gotten big and were taking a nap while casually hanging their heads out of the nest, waiting for food. And just like how the parents both assisted in building the nest, they also both were constantly feeding the babies. Sleeping even heavier after all that food, their father is sitting on the tree watching us and making sure that the babies are safe. There he is. Good job. Good job for all that feeding and hard work. Now let's go and say hi to Kanye. You probably heard me calling her by other names like Pineapple and it's because I call her by two names, Pineapple and Kanye because she is a Pineapple Green Cheek Kanye and she actually responds to both names. Green Cheek Kanye's in general have a variety of colors and Pineapple is only one of the popular color mutations. The common Green Cheek has a black head and a darker body. Pineapple is bright and her favorite walks are from my finger to my shoulder. You did this. You did this. I want to tell you all something that I also tried to explain in my first video. There are two types of training for animals. One is by building a trust bond through time, positive interactions and reward system. Two is dominance theory, which should never be tried on birds because they will just get scared of you and it actually works against the basic psychology of learning and cognition of parrots. Always be gentle and do not expect too much from them. You must have patience because they are birds, not puppies. It's never okay to stress them and do not ever punish them to correct the bad behavior. If you don't have patience, birds are absolutely not for you. Take your time and always reward the bird when they do something good. By the way, I put wood chips on the floor to keep it clean and also provide a soft surface for the bird to walk on. Time for some fun. So hit me. So hit me. First your confession With you, I feel a connection With you, it's like an infection I've been infected Whatever with an obsession you With you, never any tension Nothing but love and affection Enough of my case, so let's cut to the chase Listen up, cause these are the directions You might have noticed Kanye doesn't have a water bowl And it's because she has this Big tank it's a full cycle aquaponic system that is constantly purifying the water. It's full of plants and works without the help of any chemicals or additive. Completely natural, sustainable and low maintenance. 
The whole system runs on one pump and keeps everything going. This is how she drinks from it. The water here is just as natural as it can get, similar to birds drinking from a lake or a river. And the benefit is that I don't have to worry about changing her water every day, which is a great thing. But you might ask, how does the water stay pure and clean in a closed system? Well, the water in the tank is constantly passing through my biological filter here and it converts organic waste into nitrates which then can be absorbed by all the plants rooted in this growing. Therefore, the plants will flourish as you can see and keep on growing a crazy amount. As a result, you will have clean water and healthy plants without the help of any chemicals or fertilizers. They are shedding leaves at the back here because they are having new growth in front where there is more light. Isn't it amazing? All these plants growing from one source only. And they actually go all the way down about 12 meters. I'm pretty sure my whole building is going to be covered in them very soon. <laughs> Here is an old footage just so you get a clearer picture. This system is nothing complicated, it's just a grow bed and a tank. I built it about 2 years ago and I've learned many tricks to having a well working aquaponics system which I'll hopefully share with you guys in my upcoming videos. For example, if you like the idea of growing fish and plants at the same time and you want to make your own biological filter you will need hydro clay pebbles, bio ceramic rings which are very porous and carbon. All of this you can probably get from your local aquarium store. These materials provide great place for the roots to grow on. And the beneficial bacteria that colonizes the biofilter maintains the water quality and motivates growth. the same system in my room which works perfectly and makes me happy because the plants provide me with a lot of oxygen and they're just thriving so guys don't forget to subscribe if you want to use some of my experience on this and be able to enjoy life press subscribe right now before you forget one other thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that whenever Konya hears our voices in the house comes very close to the window and tries to make any sound just so that we will take her back in she has a beautiful house like enjoying her big space with her toys and all but she is very attached to us to solve this I was thinking to get her a mate what do you guys think? I could go do a DNA test to make sure if she's 100% male or female and then we could get her a mate. Please let me know in the comment section what you guys think and I will listen to the majority. I also bring out Electus sometimes in the morning just to get direct sunlight and be able to absorb the nutrition from her food. She's been eating some carrots today, which she normally doesn't like raw, but it's essential to her diet. So I've cooked some for her in fresh turmeric and ginger root paste. It's rich in minerals and vitamins, very organic and works as a natural detox. Conier is having brown rice cooked in the same paste. Would you like some more? Okay. 
Let's just clean our beak. One more try. Yay! Oh no. Let's put her beside me so we can take a moment to chill and enjoy the sun. And Kanye is on the other side. I've bought her many more toys and trays that I put on top of her cage where she usually hangs out. I'm sure you would want to be seeing that. I hope you were entertained by my video and have learned something new. Subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. If you enjoyed the content, give Kanye 100 likes and I'll be posting a follow up episode with more interesting stuff to talk about. Bye for now and as usual, thanks for watching.